Baghdad may be the big prize in this war, but it's out here, cities like Basra, where the coalition forces are realising the enormous, possibly daunting task of running a country. This is just one street in one corner of Iraq. The Royal Scots Guard has the run of this neighbourhood. They block the path of two tractors hauling grain and food they suspect has been stolen. Looting is now a major problem in these parts. Most of the locals won't stand for it, but even as the farmyard carts are stopped for inspection, the looters themselves are looted. The booty is clearly stolen. These sacks of leaf tea, international aid imported under the Food for Oil program. The looter tries to protect his haul. He sees nothing wrong with his actions in these lawless past few days. An officer cries for calm, but he too is forced to dodge the stones. It's then the tone turns. The food thief stupidly tries to drive off. The Brits fire warning shots. It's dramatic but effective. For control, these forces must be firm. That's how they won Basra. That's how they intend to keep it. Invading was just part of the issue for the coalition forces here. Now the British soldiers in this area must now become the police and the law. Now the crowd are pretty uh, cheesed off with the people who are trying to sell the food, so we're regulating it. Ali Baba, they appropriately call these looters, except around here, there's unfortunately far more than 40 thieves ransacking the region. The crowd turns again. This time the truck driver knows Basra is turning on him. He tries to retreat with his stolen load. His truck is showered with rocks. The Royal Scots Guard fires yet again. Control is theirs. A soldier takes the wheel of the now smashed truck. The people win and love it. The major in charge of the troops in this region is paraded as a hero as the crowd chant Ali Baba. For these people, Saddam Hussein is no longer their worry. It's just simple looters and thieves taking their own property. Gradually, with stern determination, the British take the heat out of this potentially explosive atmosphere. So what difficulties do you face here? Well, the only issue here is that there's a degree of, um, since the regime has collapsed, the issue that's happening at the moment is that people are, are, there's a degree of looting from some areas, and that's obviously unfair on the majority of the people. What we're trying to do here is just make sure that if there is any theft going on, we know where the source is coming from, so therefore we can stop it occurring at source, and that's the real root of the issue here. <laughs> the people here are slightly you know, aggrieved to see other people taking what, what belongs to them. These are tactics learned and perfected on the streets of Northern Ireland. Here in Basra, they'll seize the stolen goods and try and return them. For good measure, and to keep the peace, they hang on to one truckload of grain. Captain Alex Matheson, whose mum just happens to be from Cootamundra, lets the locals take their share. But this amount you're giving out, basically? This amount we're giving out, a bit of a peace offering to the crowd, thanking them for starting, stopping the looters, yep. um, and then we're going to go from there. As the war rages elsewhere and Baghdad is besieged, in Basra and other parts of southern Iraq, the coalition forces have begun the job of governing Iraq.